Howdy champs! My name is Mohitan People. Today we're going to talk about animations with CSS3. Now we can create animations which can replace animated images, flash animations and uh, JavaScripts in many web pages. Right. Now we have a browser preview out here in uh, Safari. The animation property is supported in IE10. So anything which is 9 and less it is not supported Firefox and Opera Safari and Chrome support an alternative the dash webkit dash we need to use a vendor prefix before the animation property right that is no big deal and uh, yes the animation property is not supported in IE9 and earlier versions of IE IE again alright so uh, let's come off the browser preview and uh, jump inside Dreamweaver and let's try and understand the code that's actually firing this kind of an effect right okay uh, we are using HTML5 uh, doc type and uh, the title says doesn't work in IE9 and less as we have just talked about we just talked about it alright in the opening and the closing style tags people uh, yep I have used basically internal or embedded styles uh, in fact let's talk about the styles a little later let's first see what is inside the body of the document which is very simple to understand inside the opening and the closing body tags we have an opening and a closing div then let's remove the h2 from here and let's push it out here then we have some br tags to create a line break between this div and this text in fact four br tags or four line breaks okay so forcing some line break after the only single div that we have inside the body of the document then we have the h2 going or the header 2 going which has some text that says the property is not supported in IE9 and earlier versions and for Chrome and Safari we need to use the prefix vendor prefix dash webkit dash alright that's all that is there inside the opening and the closing body tags now let's jump inside the opening and the closing style tags this is where the closing style tag is and mm, this is where the opening style tag is upfront to create some cushion on the top of the web page and on the left of the web page people have used margin left 100 px margin top 100 px and how did I actually do that it's very simple go to modify page properties either you can manually write it or else you can go out here and just say 100 px out here and out here too right away so that will insert the body uh, tag with margin left and top set to 100px each All right. now we have not attached a div or a class with the only div that we have that's simply because we just have one single div okay the width has been set to 100px so is the height basically a perfect square and the background shortened property has been set to the color brown right over. now in line number 16 is where I actually use the animation property now the first thing that I've done is I've used you need to give your animation a name and that could be anything right uh, in fact I would like to call it my animation so just change the name out here so uh, let's take a preview up again yep so the animation property needs to have a name and I've given it a name of my animation okay some of you may be wondering the name was different out here yet 
why was the animation actually playing that's simply because we were playing it in Chrome or Safari which are basically WebKit browsers and it was actually picking up this name and not this name now this name was required for other browsers like Opera IE 10 etc all right that's why the code did not misbehave okay because it was actually picking up this code and not this code so the animation property is followed by the name of the animation which is then after a space followed by the duration now you can specify it in terms of seconds or milliseconds I've used milliseconds out here half a second 500 milliseconds equals half you know half a second then now all, all these are additional option parameters people I've used linear as the ease other uh, options could have been ease in ease out ease in out linear means at the same pace at the same rate right uh, ease out means slows towards the end ease in means uh, um, slow towards the beginning and quickens uh, towards the end ease in out means uh, quick towards the start and the end slow uh, somewhere in the middle of the animation now this additional option parameter is delay so whether you would want your animation to start immediately kick off immediately or after some delay I specified it as again half a second that's that equals 500 milliseconds again I could have used uh, seconds s for seconds out here instead of ms for milliseconds right now this is iteration count either it could have been a number like one two three four etc or I've set it to never-ending infinite if I set it to something like a three out here uh, you know the way it's gonna behave is uh, gonna change completely and let me show that to you let me change it to three that's because I'm gonna test it in a WebKit browser all right which is Safari and let me show that to you it's gonna do an iteration count of three and then it's gonna stop exactly let me do a control Z and reset everything so I want a never-ending animation and alternate alternate is the direction right I could have set it to normal I could have set it to reverse I could have set it to alternate reverse these are some other options too right but alternate means point A to B and back to point A then back to B then back to A right basically this kind of a loop the loop that you we are looking at at the moment let's uh, preview it up in Safari so it's basically alternating from one state to the other all right um, now notice that in line number 18 I've actually copied line number 16 except that I've used the dash webkit dash prefix and that's needed for Chrome and Safari for all the other browsers we need uh, simply the animation property we don't need to uh, have a vendor prefix like dash or dash dash or mustache etc but for uh, Chrome and Safari the WebKit browsers I need the dash WebKit dash prefix vendor prefix all right now I've used the my animation animation name out here but I need to define that somewhere and I've defined it in line number 21 and 28 what was the need to uh, define it at two places very simply put uh, this is for the webkit browsers and this is for the other browsers obviously just exclude ie9 and earlier versions completely it won't work there right now this is uh, almost like defining a function cool now the name of the animation has to be preceded by the at the rate keyframes rule now that's a rule that's a format that you need to follow okay uh, and just as you define a function I've defined certain properties and I've defined it in terms of percentage Now instead of using 0% 100% I could have used to and from right so uh, the current state gradually changing to a new style so that's to from to from so I can quite easily replace 0 percent with to and this with from 
Okay. Two out here. And from here. Okay. Now two rather we'll have to write it as from and two. So that does that makes more sense, doesn't it? Similarly, it's from and two out here. From two. Okay. So from the background color brown and a scaling of one. Basically when you use the transform property and set it as a, at a scale of one, what you're saying is what you're telling the browser is at from the original size, change the scaling to double. Uh, grow in size by two times. Scale it up twice. Increase the width and the height two times. So from brown color, go up to the chocolate color, or from zero percent to hundred percent. Either you can use uh, the uh, percentage format or from to format. Both are uh, legit, right? And uh, but I've used the uh, at the rate dash webkit dash keyframes rule out here and that's simply because I have to tackle Safari and Chrome browsers too. Uh, this at the rate keyframes rule is for the other browsers not the webkit ones. Right. And uh, let's see if the from and to work as well as the 0% 100%. Let's check it up in Safari. And indeed they do. Alright. Let's switch back to zero percent, hundred percent the way they were earlier. Okay. Now since we have two states out here, zero percent, hundred percent, does it mean that I can have a fifty percent and a seventy-five percent or any other value in between? Yes, absolutely. I can do that. So let's show you an example let's copy line number 30 let's paste it out here and set a value for 50 percent the middle of the animation midway through the animation uh, let's not change the color but instead change the scaling to double the size but add a hundred percent when you're actually through with the animation let's reset it back to one so it'll grow from the original size to double the size out here and it'll go back to the original size right so I'm using the transform property giving it a value of scale 1 scale 2 scale 1 uh, I'm not changing it out here simply because I'm testing it inside Chrome and Safari and all right not outside uh, these two browsers so I can safely not touch this rule but if I were to check it in IE or Opera or any other browser I need to tackle this rule too all right so Let's preview it up in uh, Safari to see how things look like right now. So now people you see instead of uh, three states uh, 0 and 100, two states 0 and 100, we have three states 0, 50 and 100. Similarly I could have had uh, a 25% or a 75% going in two out here. right? Okay, so uh, that's how simple uh, this thing is. right? So either you can use uh, from and to or you can uh, talk in terms of percentage out here all right so people uh, I hope uh, you found this information useful I hope you like this tutorial I hope you'll sub you'll comment you'll thumb the video up and I'll also hope that you'll keep coming back for more and more tutorials from me won't you have a good day bye bye peace